hello you guys and welcome back to another vlog i need to redo my hair because i am going on vacation at the end of this week for my birthday we'll talk about that a little bit more but i wanted to wear my hair out before that before i actually get my hair done for that and i actually have no idea what i'm gonna do to my hair y'all i honestly do not know what i want to do but i also want to film content that requires my hair to not be braided so I don't know, like half of me is like, keep this in until I do my hairstyle that I'm going to do for my birthday. And the other half is just like, take it out, wear your natural hair until you figure out what you're going to do for your birthday. On the flip side of that, I also got an email from a brand that may be coming to my house to film content literally the day after I get back from vacation and a day before my birthday. So August 10th is the day they want to film, but it's hair content. So I'm also like, should I not do braids? for my birthday like I'm like I don't really know what to do or should I just do some big braids by myself and then even so what am I gonna do for my actual birthday which I'm going to the Beyonce concert on my birthday so like what are we doing I don't know anyway I have everything here to cut this out, but now that I'm sitting down, I don't think we're about to take this out just yet. <laughs> but let me tell y'all a little update on my life. I have been trying to literally get on a routine and stick to that routine. It is so hard to be disciplined, but I'm not even gonna lie y'all, I looked in the mirror and I don't like what I see now. So I think it gave me a boost which is great. First of all, I'm the biggest that I have been in a long time. I weigh 161. Actually, I was 163 and then I weighed myself again, it was 161. So we're just gonna say 160. I've never been this big in my life. However, this weight does look good on me, but I do need to work out. And that is the issue because I'm not working out. I'm not being healthy. I used to only eat salmon and salads and all that stuff. And I was in the best shape of my life, but I wasn't thick. Like I, I didn't really you know, hold any weight and I didn't like that. So now that I'm holding the weight, I need to get back to my roots and make sure that we are consistent with the routine. First things first though, we are drinking our water. Normally I drink out of my big bubble cup, but I actually drink so much water in a day. This isn't really anything new and it's not hard for me to drink this at all. Like I'm thirsty right now, I wanna drink this. So I am adding lemons and cucumbers because somebody was like, I, I saw it on TikTok cause y'all know everything, can't, you literally can't do nothing. Like I said in my last vlog, literally everything is bad for you. <laughs> and they even said water is bad because it doesn't have like electrolytes or anything like that. So I'm like, let me add my fruits to my water so they can shut their face. Just shut your face. You know what's so funny? I actually never say that phrase, but that's like one of my most common phrases. Like I would say shut your face so much when I don't want to hear what you got to say. Shut your face. Anyway, water break. Mm. Let me give you guys a body progress pic because I have not been working out, but I want to show y'all my body because when we start back working out and we really get into it, you're going to be like, dang, friend, you did it. And I'm like, yes, we did it. We did it, kind of. It's going to be a journey. I went swimming. I learned how to swim literally two days ago. Like y'all know, I know how to swim under the water. But that, this is not what this was. <laughs> my friend taught me how to swim above the water so I keep my head up and I just, you know, swim. And I'm so excited. I do have a pool in my community. So I'm telling myself, um, if I don't work out or if I don't feel like working out, I have to go to the pool. Like that's a workout all on its own. Or dance. So it's either working out with weights, pool, or dancing. But dancing is gonna be the background. Like we're gonna dance every day regardless. So I'm trying not to count dance because I'll just keep going there. I'm getting serious about it. One thing, let's talk about all the insecurities right now. We just gotta talk about it. And then we're gonna move towards eliminating them because that's what I do, okay? So first and foremost, y'all know the underarm fat. Honestly, I think it's like going, going down a little bit since I started swimming because it used to be like, like you can see how, how defined this other line is right here. You don't see it over here. Like it's turning into one big fat. <laughs> it's normally found in people who have boobs. 
so um yeah we definitely need to do some upper body i want to work on my back i haven't really worked on my back y'all know i'm strictly lower body not upper body at all and normally my waist isn't um normally 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 my, my waist doesn't jiggle but it's it's jiggling now so i don't know I'm going to show you, but yeah, I don't like the jiggle y'all. I don't like the jiggle, the extra jiggle. So it's telling me I need to go ahead and start doing crunches, start working out, start eating better because this is not going to work for me. And I've never had a stomach. I'm not even trying to be funny, but anyway, but anywho, let me show you guys. <sighs> I know what you're going to say. It's not that bad. That's, that's not the point y'all. It's not the point. I'm, you don't wait till it get that bad. For you to figure out the point but let me show you okay you see it just that baby it's there don't 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 do not gaslight me in the comments i'm trying to tell y'all the jiggle is jiggling all right and i but i had to gain this weight to gain that that gain 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 y'all know y'all know i've been wanting this for a minute now that i got it we got to Tighten it back up. We got to make sure we ain't no jiggle. You know what I'm saying? Except for up here. That could jiggle and this could jiggle. Everything else, no jiggle. We don't need the arms jiggling. We don't need that. So, prepare to get on this journey with your girl. Okay? Drinking water, eating right, working out. Period. Okay, I put my hair in a ponytail. And I think we can prolong this hairstyle just a little longer. I didn't do anything to my edges. I think we can at least keep this in until I know what I want to do for my birthday. And then just do that hairstyle instead of touching the hair too much. Because too much touching and manipulation cause shedding and breakage and all that bad stuff. So, yeah, I think we're just going to keep it like this. Even though I've went swimming twice, it still looks really good and I am not mad at it. Even though I'm thinking of going swimming again, cause why not? I saw this girl using this edge control. It's like, what is called, gummy? It's like a styling wax. I saw her use this on her brows. I have quite a bit actually. And I never thought to use it to like, do like the laminated brow look. I kind of want to try it out. I do my own brows now. And let me tell y'all why I do my own brows. So as you can see, this one is very skinny because for some reason, something happened right here. And now the hair doesn't grow there anymore. But I'm going to let it grow back. We're treating it, trying to let it go back. Because as you can see, this one's extra thick. And plus, they just have them all weirdly shaped and everything. As you see, this one's thicker than this one. I am treating them back to health myself. And with that, I'm also just like plucking them. I'm not threading it. I'm just plucking them out with regular old tweezers. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I got a little bit on the brush. I just want to see if it, ooh. Ooh, it's combing those browns out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm spitting all on the screen. So excited over here, man. Um, oh, I, need, I see where I need to cut it now. <gasps> okay, yeah, I think I like this. And plus, I feel like it'll help with this brow as well. With the plucking, too. Okay, yeah, I don't need to cut nothing off of this brow. How cute. Okay, and then. Oh yeah, this works great. What I do is shape it like that, and then like that. I mean, look dumb, but what else? Hmm. This is a good little prepping product. It definitely does what it should be doing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, I like it. Let me just go ahead and put this in my makeup room because the makeup looks about to be coming back, okay? I'm back in my makeup girly era. It's gonna be cute fire. Period. Period. Give me a huggy. Oh, I get the huggy. Where you going? You want me? Oh, yeah. You know I gotta pick you up. Oh, the huggy baby. <laughs> Hello, Sky baby. Hello, Sky baby. Hi, babes. What you doing? 
doing? What's cracking? Uh, what's cracking? She's such a baby. She's such a baby. Sky baby. Your toy? You already put a hole in the toy. Give it to me. Give it. Give me this toy, girl. Y'all, she want me to just like jank it like that. See? <laughs> ah! Yes, yeah, got baby. Ooh, wow! You're so aggressive. So aggressive. Y'all, she's so fast. I'm a fast girl. I'm a fast girl. First time working out in like months so that was quite intense okay that was really intense but I got through it the complete thing now push-ups push-ups are not my thing push-ups are not my thing babes I don't know like I got five for you I got five on it that's it I ain't got no more like push up I don't know I, and that's probably why we here because I always skip upper body but that's okay I I decided that like even if I can't do something, I'm just gonna do like as many as I can and then that's it's just gonna be that. I really wanna shower right now, but I really need to get to cooking, at least put something on and then hit the shower right quick. So I'm trying to think of what I wanna make. If y'all don't watch suits, baby, you gotta watch suits because the way Harvey let me let me just show y'all. Cause I can't believe so basically he's a lawyer it's a lawyer show or whatever and the person that they are asking this question to is actually his therapist his therapist was actually summoned basically i don't know why i'm talking about ancient times but she was basically summoned to um to give a testimony to basically say that her client was falsifying documents and in, in some trade whatever the situation i don't i don't care that's beside the point. She actually shared something with him in therapy that like he wasn't supposed to like even say or use or anything, but he doesn't have, he don't have any obligation to not say it. But she told him in confidence, y'all, why this man brought it back up? To win his cake, to win this, and like to make her feel pressure. I have Words. to show y'all this clip. If you will not answer, I will have a judge compel you answer. Yes. And how did he say he felt about losing $50 million on one trade? He said he felt guilty about it. So he came to you to continue taking risks until he finally lost fifty million dollars and then admitted to That's not Harvey that's though. Not that's not Harvey. Let me Sorry, wait on it. Want to count this now, or do you want to stand this table for the SEC? Look how you look. Doctor Ayer, do you want to give the testimony you just gave? Of course not. And why is that? Because 
I care about my clients. Is it possible that you didn't want to give it because it's not true? No, it's not possible. You couldn't possibly have been pressured to give false testimony against your wishes. He, he is like the best lawyer no, in the world. But he will have you ever been pressured to do something you didn't want to do by a client before? Let me rephrase. Isn't it true that you released a client that you cared about from rehab for no reason other than no. you felt pressure from a different client who was actually paying the bills? Dr. Agar, you are under oath, and if you will not answer, I will have a judge compel you to answer. Yes. And did this person die of an overdose less than 24 hours later? He ain't right! Yes. She so, told you me. yourself be pressured when someone's life is at risk. What's to make us think you're not doing the exact same thing right now? He ain't right, man. He ain't gonna go about it. He ain't gonna go about it. He ain't gonna go about it. I tried to warn you. You didn't warn me. You asked me to lie for you, and I told you I wouldn't. I asked you to lie for Sam Tull. Well, this isn't about Sam Tull, and you know it. What the hell are you talking about? I opened up to you so that we could build trust, not so that you could humiliate me. I humiliated you to help a man you said you care about. And I'm fighting about your mother had nothing to do with that. Excuse me? You were just a session because you didn't want to talk about your mother. Hello. And the second you had the chance, to permanently damage our relationship, you took it. He sure did. And he won't, he don't want to work with her. Because she about to expose that ass. Not expose him, not for real. And I don't give a shit if it hurt your feelings or not. Because you betrayed him just as much as I'm betraying you. And you may be the one who's crying about it. But he's the one who's been accused of committing a crime. Mm. If you're lucky, someday you're going to realize what's really going on here. Okay, the rice is on. It's gonna take about 20 minutes or so. The chicken is also in the air fryer and it's gonna take like 15 more minutes. So I'm about to go take a shower and then we're gonna come back and eat. It smells so good though. I wish I had some vegetables though. Do you have any veggies? I guess I do. Oh, I have some green beans. Oh, I didn't even see some green beans. So when I get out of the shower, we're gonna make some of these and then dinner will be served. All right, you guys, we are done. Y'all, that shower was so good. <laughs> All the food like been done and like the rice was still on low cause I cook it on low. Y'all, the bottom was getting real hard and crispy. So I'm gonna make like crispy rice out of that later. This is dinner for tonight. The chicken came out really good. I wanted it nice and like crispy on the top. I added a little bit of baking powder just to make it nice and crispy. And then some white rice and the green beans are steaming. So I'm starving. I'm just going to eat dinner, drink the rest of my water. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish this. So a gallon down today. Awesome. And yeah, watch some suits and chill. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I was gonna make a coffee this morning, but I just realized that it's just better for me to just take a pre-workout because I should just skip this all together because that's just too much. Much so, I'm gonna just do my pre workout and get to working out. I really need to get some dishwashing pods and get these dishes in the dishwasher because I don't have any more pods. Like, I could wash them by hand. Mm -mm. <laughs> listen, if you would like for me, listen, there's just some things that I let others control dishes dishwasher in life you gotta know when to delegate tasks okay and in this household tasks gonna have to be delegated because how am i supposed to do all these and be the best version of myself and do self-care and work and pay these bills and take care of a dog and make sure all my friends know i love them 
That's a lot. <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway, I'm trying to get myself pumped for working out. I actually feel much better today already. I feel real good. I feel like my stomach ain't really budging as much as it was yesterday. And I only worked out one day. One day. And I also, you know, decided to do better with my eating as well. So that plays a very huge part. Let's see. Pre-workout me, baby. This is so random, but I've never taken vitamin C. And when I got this at Carnival, I was like, oh, yeah, it's vitamin C. I have no idea what this is or, like, even how to do it. I do need to get my nails done, but I'm going on vacation on the 5th. So I'm like, it's just going to make it weird because it'll only be like a week worth of nails. And I think I'm going to get them done. I'm not going to do them. I want them professionally done so they could be like Gucci, you know? Um, not that mine ain't Gucci, but I need to practice some more. I'm missing something. Something's missing. But yeah, let's take this. I'm procrastinating. And I also need to fill up my water bottle for today. So what I did was I just left the lemons and the cucumbers that were already in here, put it in the refrigerator, and now I'm just about to fill it up at my burrita. Is it Bria? Whatever. I'm about to fill it up with water. And I'm going to go ahead and drink to the 9 a.m. because it is 9 a.m. right now. So we got, we got a lot of water to be drinking. And I'm going to get to it. So I'm probably gonna only use these cucumbers for like today. And I think we're gonna throw them out and put some fresh ones in for tomorrow. But the fact that I drank a whole gallon of water yesterday with literally no problem, y'all, I'm just like, maybe this is my thing. Is this my thing? Ooh, mind you. I'm drinking well water this isn't um spring water it's well water because i take the jugs home and i fill them up at home and then i just bring them back <laughs> so it's a win-win for all of us i get free water now and i get to go visit my mommy speaking of i need to call mommy now my mom's always happy when i call like she'll mimic my happiness with Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Pam. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How you doing? I am good. What you eating? Pork chop sandwich. Mm. Yo, uh, in, the, in the morning, never mind. I don't know why I said that. So what I said in the morning, but then I said never mind. I don't know why you said that. Right, right. Yo, baby, uh, peed in the house yesterday. You wound up and sent it somewhere. Nope. Why'd you I, I was standing right here in the kitchen and she was by the door and just peed. I said, well, you wasn't on tab and nothing, huh? Oh my God. I gave her the silent treatment. Then she gonna try to come around me and be nice. Mm -mm, don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, no. I knew it. I can't wait to ship a bike. I am all cleaned up and relaxed. I almost didn't do anything today, but I have a to-do list and we are sticking to that to-do list. If you guys don't know, I always write my to-do list on Trello. I know I tell y'all that all the time. I said I was gonna run errands, but honestly, I'm not running errands anymore, so we gotta take that off. Ooh, to take her off, I want to, okay. Yeah, we're not running errands because I'm just gonna get Instacart to do it. Who cares? Um, so yeah, it's only four things. It's only four things on my list of to-dos today. I wanna make some bread and then film the Zara haul and edit my vlog. Well, edit this vlog. I told myself, I was like, listen, if you really want these vlogs to go up, you're gonna have to edit every day. Just edit the day after the day has happened and then we won't have to feel so like stressed out trying to do like six days. Cause sometimes it one day can have an hour of raw footage, y'all. That's about seven hours, that's all day. Uh-uh, so I tell myself, just edit the vlogs daily and I feel like it'll be so much better. And then limo service, I told myself I was gonna look one up for my birthday and see what we could do because I wanted to do Uber 
but I will have to schedule the pickup and then schedule the pickup from the actual stadium, which is fine, I guess. But then on the day, I don't know, I just feel like it's not gonna work out right. I feel like I should go through an actual company, especially because it's a Beyonce concert, you know? So if y'all have any recommendations on a limo service, a car service or something, let me know. That'll be great. Anywho, that's what I'm trying to do today. So the list is very small, but it is Saturday. So no harm, no foul. So I'm basically gonna make the bread and the bread takes like three hours to do anyway, so. But I'm also gonna film me making the bread. I think I wanna do it on TikTok. So I'm gonna film me making the bread and then we're gonna get ready to do the Zara haul. And that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Sometimes I have like such extensive lists. And to be frank, I feel like sometimes it overwhelms my brain. If I keep it small, then that thing is going to get done. So super excited. Okay, so. The bread that I want to make today comes out of my actual book that came with my bread maker. And I wanna make one pound loaf, cause I this is the one that really came out really well last time and I didn't show you guys that one. I wanna do their basic recipe, which is this right here. Pause the video if you want to read the recipe. That's for one pound, a half a pound, and two pounds, but I'm gonna do it in one pound. Instead of the vegetable oil, I am gonna add um, butter. Dang, I don't have softened butter. I'm gonna have to like melt it. And of course we're using Kerrygold, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and film me making bread. The bread is being made. I have like two hours and 41 minutes left. So yeah, I'm excited. I was actually on Instagram, right? Just browsing a little bit, it's Saturday, whatever. And I saw the post about Lotto, and she was basically saying how like, men want traditional women, but they're not traditional men, right? And so the conversation also led into like, them saying like, can you, can you build a house? Can you do something, you know, do what traditional men do or whatever. So then I went into the comments, y'all. The comments were so crazy. The men were basically like, the, building a house just because y'all making fried chicken da, 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 da. and i'm just like wow where's the actual carpenters like where where are you i'm like am i is who, what world am i in y'all i cannot like like okay so backstory on my on why i feel this way my real father he actually built two homes he built his first home and then sold it and then he built his second home by himself like literally a two-story home okay this man did not know how to read babes the day he died this man don't know how to read but he know how to build a house and so it's insane that people who actually have have education won't educate themselves to know how to do handiwork that's what women are talking about. You have, like who doesn't want a man that know how to do handiwork? Like you think I wanna, you think if something goes on with my house, I wanna be the one to get up? Like I understand, you don't need, you don't need to know how to build a house to do that. But it'd be nice if you did. It's really not hard. And so I commented on that, on that video and I was like, um, a house is only, you know, four by fours and sheetrock, like what's, Y'all don't know how to do that, whatever. And y'all, all the men that's getting like so mad, I'm just like, but I can build a house, so why can't you? Like a house is only four walls and a roof. Nobody said you needed to know how to build a three-story house with a basement, nobody said that. See, th that's the problem. That's the problem with a lot of people. Your expectations of what you feel like you should do or what you really want is up here. When you have to start here when you're trying to learn something. If you learn how to make a house out of four walls and a roof, eventually you'll level it up, you'll level it up and up and up. If you always just think about what you can't do, ne can't, never could, never will. And that's the attitude that most of us women don't want to put up with, babes. I don't have time for you to already doubt yourself on what you can do before you even try. Before you even look at a YouTube video. It's really not hard to build a house, y'all. Like... If I take y'all to my basement right now, like I can literally finish my basement. I'm literally contemplating finishing it by myself. Not by myself, but like with my mom and my uncle. 
just so they can lift heavy stuff that I don't want to lift. But at the end of the day, I know exactly what to do. I know to put sheetrock. I know the steps to make that happen. I am definitely doing the flooring and painting. It's, it's literally not that hard. It depends on what kind of house you want to make too. You want to make one out of brick? You can. You want to make it out of concrete? You can. But it's just insane how they're like so upset. But why, why? Like, it just takes me back to the fact that my dad didn't even know how to read, but he knew how to build a house. That's how crazy times change as we like continue to, you know, live in this world or whatever. And how corporate America and nine to fives and the rapping careers and sports and all of that, like all these other careers that men want to do, they put all of their energy into doing that instead of learning simple tasks like the basics of building a home, you know? Anyway, that was my little rant for today because I'm just like, this is probably why I will always be single because there's not, there's literally not a, a way in the world that I would literally date a man that is not handy. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I will not date a man that is not handy. It just, I'd rather be alone. I'd rather just date. Because if all you good for is what? Dates. Because you clearly ain't going to take care of the house. Shit, I damn near feel like I need to have a gun in case somebody break in this month. You know what I'm mean? Because, baby, if you can't, you can't, if you can't ham handle a drill and some screws and know that, you know, anyway, y'all might not know what I'm talking about because I know it's a lot of, you know, just women on here, but I don't, I don't want none of these men. <laughs> you can have them. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day completely forgot to come back and talk to you guys yesterday i did a whole full face with um you guys on my tiktok live and it was a cute face i didn't even show i don't think i even came on here to show y'all that look and then i just took it off without even doing um my haul i told myself i was doing my makeup so that i could do the zara haul then turns out after i did my makeup i didn't want to do zara haul so we're back to having to do it today and having to do our makeup today I also told myself I was going to put on makeup more like I used to not to affect my skin. We're definitely going to be ma like making sure the skin is good and, and right and tight. I feel like I was just telling my homeboy because we always talk about stuff like this like it's nice to not do that stuff and to feel you know good about yourself without it blah 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 but there's a flip side to the perception of this because i feel like you know whether you like it or not people treat you how you look and also when you do the extra steps to make yourself even your skin your clothes and all that stuff because y'all know i didn't wear jewelry i didn't i just was like I don't want to do makeup. I don't want to do jewelry. I think I was running away from actually being pretty. And I know y'all might think, girl, what are you talking about? But let me give you a little background lesson. I grew up with just men. And so, you know, I never wanted them to see me as pretty. Like, all my cousins were pretty much boys except one cousin. She has since passed away. So, it's like... You know, I realized that that is an issue for me. And now I realize that I do like, I do like to put myself together. And when you do put yourself more together, the more you do, the more people, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but the more people just like, you know, they admire you, they listen to you, they get inspired by you. That like, if you look put together, you know, I am actually put together, but if I don't look it, it goes out the damn door <laughs> for some people. They'll treat you a different way, whether you like it or not. I'm not saying that's good because it's not good to treat people how they look. But at the end of the day, that's who we are. That's what humans are. Even with like, you know, skin or like I said, clothes and stuff like that, you might be just like, even the bonnet thing. Y'all know I have a big issue with people like being upset with people because of the bonnet because I'm just like, let them live their life. But on the flip side of that, I kind of understand what they're trying to say. You know, it's just like how you present yourself to the world, you know, it matters, man. It matters because people treat you different. Y'all, people really do treat you different based on, you know, how you look. And that's the sad reality. And once you come to terms with it, though, you'll just come to the realization that, listen, if I want to be treated a certain way, I'm going to have to do that. If I don't, I need to be okay with not being treated a certain way, you know? So, I just say all that to say. I just at that stage, I just want to look more put together all the time. And I want to really take the time to put into what I look like 
all the time. So anyway, I still that to say we're gonna be doing a lot more makeup looks. Get prepared. Uh, but the thing, the crazy thing about it is I've been doing makeup shit for so long. Like I used to do wedding makeup back in the day. But if you don't continue to do makeup, your skills will lack. And I just feel like my skills are lacking. I need to get like new makeup. And y'all kind of ate me up yesterday like Kim you need to <laughs> y'all was like you need to wash your brushes on your next live and you need to uh go to the store because everything hit and pan and I was like damn you didn't have to read me little girl y'all ain't have to read me like that okay <laughs> but now nah, I be appreciating it because whatever can make me a better person or whatever you know I'm I'm down it is what it is and I really do need to throw some of this makeup away though. Like it's old. I opened up um, an eyebrow cream the other day. It was moldy. And then I put these lippies on the other day as well. Both of these. First of all, they're matte. They were crumbling. It was just not. A, I need to throw out a whole lot of these things because now I'm I'm understanding that shit do expire. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this face, honey, because. It's time to be the eyes. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm going to scroll on Instagram or TikTok and figure out a look that I'm going for. And then we're going to try to recreate it. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Did I do really good? Look at the little inner corner. Ooh, I was just like, let me try. One thing about me, if I put my mind to it, I'm gonna do it. Cause can't never, could never, will. That's my saying, y'all. I got it from my mama. My mommy said it all the time. And every time I say, uh, like, if we be, we'll, if we're like talking about something, I'll be like, can't never could, and my mom be like, and never will. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. But she's been doing that like her entire life. Anyway, I really like it. I think it looks really good. So let me get ready to film this Zara haul. I just finished filming the Zara TikTok reel, Instagram reel, and YouTube video. And I took pictures. Like the setup that I had. Let me show it to you. I don't actually have the cameras and stuff still set up because I started editing already, but I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like and what I did. This was where I filmed the reel. So I have my ring light and then just a phone stand. And it was, and this was the angle that I had. I really wanted the stairs, the hardwood floors. I just wanted the white, the cleaningness, all that, the clint, the white, all that. So this looks really good, right? And then over here, is where I filmed the YouTube video, which is cool because that window, there's a window right here and that window bring, brought in a lot of light, but I also have light that came in on this side of my face. This is the camera that I use. My microphone did go out, so I had to switch the microphone. So I'm using this mic now. I have to kind of edit the audio in post-production. And then I had my phone set, my other phone, I have two phones. So I have my other phone set up right here to take photos. So we're taking photos here doing the reel over there and nothing was in both frames so I literally was going from station to station getting things done and I finished so fast and I'm so proud of me because now we have a real YouTube a real and YouTube setup simultaneously that was literally my entire goal I'm just glad I have enough cameras and stands and stuff to make that happen Okay, y'all, I did everything. I edit, upload to YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok all today. And I filmed today. I'm so proud of me. Hey, Tudor, I know you sick of me doing things. She probably like, girl, can you please play with me? And now I'm about to go to a cookout. So I just want to powder my face just a little bit because I am getting a little oily. A little bit. 
a little bit. So I think I have, um, oh yeah, I was like, I think I got the Fenty. This is a great like blotting powder. So I'm just gonna put some of this on. So I'm just gonna take a puff, put some on and Take away that shine, babe. You know that kind of for that? <laughs> All right, looks better. So let's find something to wear. Nothing too snazzy. Just look a coffee. We made it to DJ's place, y'all. Look at their hydrangeas. Yep, yes. hydrangeas, yep. Y'all, look how beautiful they are. They bloom so good. Let's see. Yeah, they're gonna be huge. They're gonna be bigger? Yeah, they're gonna get 10 feet tall, so they're gonna <gasps> be like, I wanted them for privacy. Like what? Like these, these crepe myrtles, so you see like they got pink. Oh my, those are like mine. Yeah. I got that one tree. Yeah, you do have the, I think you have this exact same one. I do. That's, now nah, that's, you got a lot more bloom and mine just got like a one or two. I think mine is older than yours. Oh, it's, so it's as it continues, it's gonna, yep. more color. This one is supposed to be red. It hasn't did anything yet. I'm still waiting on it. Like red flowers? Red, yeah, so how that's pink. Oh, that's the same red. tree. Okay. Yeah, it's just a different color. Ah. I remember, is that the one y'all went looking for that time? We got this in your daddy truck. We yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> we ran outside. We ran outside. We be doing too much. <gasps> y'all, look at the vine. Muscadines. Y'all, y'all know I love me some muscadines. Look at y'all. They almost ready. A couple more weeks. This is nice. I feel oh, like I was just here and it wasn't as like full. But it's so full now, y'all. These are uh, the same kind of um, tree over there, but they're black. Oh, the leaves. The leaves are black. So this is like red. Oh, oh y'all got four. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Y'all, they did it up back here. Look at their backyard. I, I'm, every time I come up here, I'm like jealous. Look at this. Cause honey, my stuff ain't gonna never stay alive. All my plants died. <laughs> they all day, I don't know. Wait, where the peach tree? Um, oh, well, we have one right here, and the other one is in the front yard. Yeah, they all, they got fruit trees and stuff. Well, this is oh, the it's nectarine in the front. tree, so it's going to have nectarines on it eventually. But the peach tree is in the front. So are you going to plant it or just keep it in the pot? So, what's crazy is I have it in this pot, but the roots have grown down into the ground. Stop it. So, now it's like it's growing it's there. in the ground. Yeah, so Dang. don't leave it. It's just going to be... <laughs> right, right by the house. Oh well. <laughs> Ain't no need to fix <laughs> it now. Wait, what's this? Oh, that was for my birthday. We need to throw that. The slip and slide. And oh, you gonna throw that? You gonna throw it away? Y'all don't keep stuff for storage. Oh, true enough. <laughs> yeah, nah, y'all got this. Wait, what is this then? This right here? Yeah. This is the Rose of Sharon. So. Oh my gosh, those are roses? Uh, they call it the Rose of Sharon because the flower looked like roses, but it's not technically Yeah, a rose, I they, see. They named it that to sell it to people. <laughs> it's interesting, though. It's going to get really big and it's going to have white flowers all over it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, not y'all. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even know. I never noticed that. What? That one and that one. What are those? Oh, those elephant ears. I just put those out here because oh. I had them in pots. So I wanted Cute. to put them in the ground. Oh, look at that. Um, oh, my mint. I have mint now, so when we want to make a mojito. Stop it. No, you do not. Y'all y'all know I love my mojitos. I think you can smell it. It's supposed to smell like mint. You know the key to my heart. Look at that. It do look like mint. Oh, smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's strong. <laughs> right. I that's think some that's, strong mint. I think mint. that's spearmint. Like, that's like one of the strongest Oh, my mint. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, now nah, we're gonna be making some fresh mojitos, y'all. Y'all heard that apple tree. <laughs> Put that apple tree out there. Y'all, they be having, first of all, let me tell y'all, they be having fruit that they don't even eat <laughs> out this bitch. Like, they don't really eat muscadines like that, but they got, well, that's a little thing about the muscadines. They thought they were buying grapes. I guess they did buy grapes. And then they turned out to be muscadines. Right. They was labeled wrong in the store. They was grapes. They, they were labeled grapes, but they Yay. was muscadines. Did y'all get y'all money back? No, we just let it grow just up. Let, just let it just. 
but it's a cute vine though. I feel like right, it's yeah. a great vine, even like that, nice and big like that. <sighs> Not really. Cause I, I see a, then, you got a few grapes in there though, right? I do. I have one grape vine, but the grape grow the grape vine grows slow. Yeah. But that muscadine, it just covered that it thing, up. It just... It's like <laughs> it's it is the thing. Right. Like I, it's no longer grow, black. Yeah. It's like a decor piece now. Exactly. Yeah. So even if it like, didn't yeah. even produce fruit, I just like how it looks. It's just. You yeah, know, me aesthetic. too. It's so nice. Now look at it from this angle. It looks so good, like a just like a grass wall. Really. <laughs> right, exactly, a grass wall. I'm surprised you don't be taking pictures right there on that bench. I'm trying to think. Well, we just put the bench there today. Cause <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even listen. I don't even be noticing the changes because they got so many plants and things to remember. I love it though, y'all. I bet this is some of the freshest air out here. My grass is starting to look a little better, but I should have took a picture because the way I put them damn seeds down, why is it lines in my yard? Wait, so the grass is growing in lines? In lines. <laughs> I don't understand what I did, but you can see where I like. <laughs> but I thought I, I overlapped. I guess I didn't. And uh, so. It, it should have just blended. It should. I, I thought I overlapped. I guess not. But so at least they're growing though, so the seeds. It, it's pretty. It's nice. I'm like, it's okay. It's gonna grow together though. Eventually, they're gonna spread and grow together. Yeah, the guy. I told the guy who mows my yard. I was like, um, can you like treat it? And I asked him like last week, I think. And he was like, we could do it in the fall. And I was like, yep, that's what DJ said. Yep. So as soon as the fall come, he gonna do that. And then hopefully by next summer. Yeah, yeah. It, it usually takes a year or two to get it where you want it to go. But yeah. you got to start. I'm going to go fix my plate and give me something to eat. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, clearly. Um, so last night, we just sat by the fire and talked and drank wine. All that good stuff. But now I have a migraine. And I think it's a wine hangover. Is that a thing? I don't know. But I am like so down today like i was so hype and up and hunt, like ready to do stuff yesterday but today i'm like uh i guess i'm about to do it so anywho i need i guess i'll take me like one of these little probiotic drinks i don't want to take any headache medicine or anything like that y'all so i don't know I had Waffle House this morning, but I don't know if that made my making me feel bad today or what. But I'm hungry, so I'm, I'm gonna eat the rest of it. The Waffle House is just so bad, like it's so greasy. I had a um, cheesesteak melt with hash browns, smothered and covered. That's pretty much all I get if I don't get the patty melt. But I don't get like the All Stars and stuff like that. I don't get it. I'm also on season six of Suits, y'all. Why when I was watching this, because I'm watching it with my friend, I was like, dang, that look like Meg and Marco. Like, I said that on, like, season two. We ain't think nothing of it. Y'all, why is that Meg and Marco in the damn, in, the, in that show? Y'all, I am like, <laughs> I'm so slow at some point. Sometimes I'm so slow. I'm like, I forgot they said oh, where it was at, girl. I forgot it. Anyway, these are the um, these are the probiotic drinks I'm talking about. Just chill me up. Maybe I need that. Maybe this is what I need. I know I'm not like dehydrated, but let me get some water too. How much is tight today, y'all? How much is tight today, y'all? My hair hurt, my eyes watering, my body hurting. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am about to get some food because that Waffle House, I was eating that earlier and I'm hungry. But I kind of want to order some groceries. But then I'm like, girl, you are not going to cook. Lying. Just lying. You know. But like, what do I want? <sighs> I need to close them blinds because I feel like it's making it worse. But I really was trying to wake myself up. It's just not where I need to take this hair out. Let me tell you what I got to do for the rest of the week because I'm, you know, about to leave for Cabo. So, yeah, we got to do hair. I don't know what I want to do with my hair at all. I don't have a, a braid appointment. This is the week of my vacation. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do my hair. But I don't know what I want to do. Need to go get my nails done. 
Clearly, I ain't going like this. I, I'm i probably going to do that tomorrow. I was going to do it today. I don't I don't want to leave the house. Whatever. Oh, what else? What else? Oh, a wax. I need to go get a wax. I'm going to continue to do my own brows, so I'm not going to get my brows done. What else? And I need to start, like, figuring out what I'm going to wear. Am I going to go shopping? I should go shopping. It's my birthday. I deserve new things. But then I just went to Zara. But I feel like Zara has more like everyday clothes, not like vacation. I want some like maxi dresses. Some flowy things. You know? So I might go shopping one day. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get nails done and do shopping. Yeah? Okay. I'll make up for not doing anything today. Because I can't do anything. What are we here? Ooh. Oh, my God. Let me see what I'm about to order. I'm going to order some from Uber Eats. Y'all ever just, like, looking at all the food and then being disgusted? Like, all this look nasty. Man. That's how I feel right now. I don't know why I feel like this right now. Ooh, Church's Chicken. The way to get me not to eat Church's Chicken is if they don't have the three peppers, like the um, three jalapeno peppers, because I can't eat their chicken without the peppers, and they don't have it. So, well, let me see. If I try to go to the chicken and order some chicken, will they let me have the option of adding peppers? No. What is wrong with them? Do they not serve peppers no more? You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I don't need to be eating that anyway. Anyway, let me figure out what I'm going to eat, friend. And I, I guess I'll show you that later, but I'm really not doing anything today. I don't want to do anything. My head is hurting, like, right up in here. And so I give myself, like, these um, brow massages because it really does release it a little bit. I saw this girl on TikTok pull her hair and that thing said, boop. Not happening. I'm not doing that. All right. Good morning. You guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Good. Good morning. It's August first. It's August first. Anyway, it's the first day of the month. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's the first day. Y'all, tell me why this dog who has never like peed in my bed, peed in my bed last night. Well, this morning, because I didn't even go to sleep. So well, I did go to sleep. Y'all know I went to sleep and then I woke up and then I came back, go to bed. Then I couldn't go back to sleep until like, I want to say like 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And so I gave her a little water, but she knows to get out the bed. Like, babes, the whole house is hard. Like, she's never peed in my bed before. I don't know if she peed in her sleep or what. I said, please get out of my face. But I stripped the bed and I'm cleaning it. But she's downstairs because I was like, I don't want to see your face right now. And a amount of puppy dog eyes is going to get. Because I have, now I got to try to clean up my bed cooler. I don't know how to clean it. <laughs> I'll figure it out later because we need to be going to um, run some errands. <laughs> but we got to do makeup first because I told y'all we're going to start doing makeup and we going to start putting myself together. Okay. So I did my skincare and everything, bathing and everything last night. And this morning, I'm trying the new method of wake up in the morning and only do like rice water and sunscreen because you don't want to like just wash off everything you already just put in, just put on one. So I did spray my rose water. Y'all know I got some. Y'all know that? Y'all probably know. Anyway, I put it in here, but it's the real rose water that comes in like, let me see if I got some up. Okay, I think it's not up. It's this rose water. This is the rose water that I keep in there. This is a moisturizer and an SPF. So I put this on. And yeah, I think we're good to go. I'm just going to brush my teeth and everything. And then we're going to beat this face. Now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't get my nails done today. Because it's like a week before my trip. So I feel like I'm not going to get my nails done today. I want them to be fresh for my vacay. Because if they're not 
fresh for vacay, then they're going to look even older once my birthday actually arrives. And I'm not trying to get them redone for my birthday. I know I'm leaving this house to go run some errands at least. I also want to go to Trader Joe's to get groceries. That's going to be on the last end of what we're doing today before we come back. So I think we are going to go straight to perimeter. Ready, all done. I need some more lip glosses. I feel like I don't have enough like just regular gloss without like color. This is just a little bit of aquaphor. Love this for the lips. But look at the makeup. It's so cute. I'm getting so good. I do have one lip gloss though, so I guess I'll put this one. This one is by what is this? Black Radiance. That's what it looks like. I don't know how good it is, but that's what it's from, okay? It's not sticky, so that's a great thing. I hate the sticky lip, the lip glosses. It smells good. I'm gonna put this one in my purse. I'm just gonna go with gloss, cause we're running errands, not trying to do nothing. But, y'all look at these roots, okay? Super thick. So I think I'm just gonna do a bun like I did yesterday. Well, was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday. Yesterday. So I'm gonna do me a little bun. A fun bun. Oh, I don't have my tools. I don't have any hair ties, but that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and get ready. But let me make sure what I'm doing today is programmed. All right, so let's move nails over here. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm like, should I go get? No, I do have. I I'm gonna probably eat. Um, I got a teriyaki bowl yesterday, and I didn't really eat it, so I should probably eat that. Unfortunately, it's gonna have to be eaten this morning because my head is killing me. <laughs> the next day I did not even show you guys what I got from all the places I got some stuff from so I'm gonna show you but I don't know if I should show you everything because I don't want to reveal my birthday dress but then again if you could help me with accessories and stuff I should probably let y'all help me huh you know I'm gonna let y'all help me I need to get some coffee this morning I don't need to but I'm going to because when I leave for vacation, I'm trying not to leave much food here. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and got the Mandarin chicken. I already ate the Mandarin chicken. Man, that chicken is so freaking good. And I already took the trash out. I'm, I apologize. But I also had this vegetable fried rice with it. Oh my God, it only took five minutes to make. So good. Sit down, sit down. Yeah, uh, 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 not on my carpet, over here. Sit down, uh-uh, over there by your bear. By your bear, oh, by your toy. Get your toy, by your toy. She's in trouble, y'all, she peed in the bed. Sit over here, Sky. You can't, you smell like pee. You can't be over here smelling like pee. You smell like pee, you peed in the bed, and mama has to bathe you, so you're gonna have to wait. I've been giving her the silent treatment all day. That was the first time I done said anything to her, y'all, because I cannot, I just still cannot believe that she peed in my bed. Let me show y'all what else I got from Trader Joe's before I, you know, finish up. So I got some garlic naan before I eat it all. Y'all know me. I got garlic naan. I think I got this last time, the roasted corn. Haven't cooked it yet. I got these colorful carrots. I like roasted carrots. I never like regular carrots, but roasted, I feel like it's so good. 
I got some seasoned Brussels sprouts because I like Brussels sprouts, but I really hate dealing with cooking them and seasoning them and all that stuff. I'm hoping this is like a 10 out of 10. I got some edamame. I had some edamame in um, the in the Cayman Islands, and I want to make like some spicy Thai edamame. It was so good with like some sticky sauce. It was good, y'all. So I want to use this for that. Picked up some of these good old dumplings. Love that, love that. And I also got these cheesecake cones. Yeah, <laughs> cheesecake cones. I already bit like a piece of it. So they tell you to like wait till it's thawed. This is what they look like. But the lady at the counter was like, don't let this thaw out, like eat it immediately. And so I bit it. I bit it when I was in the car. I could not wait. And it was good. Like, look how good this look. And this cheese cut. I ain't even ate breakfast here, so I shouldn't be writing this, but let's show up. Mmm. Yum. Now let's try this. If you like cheesecakes and you're not allergic to nuts, give this a try. Cause it has nuts. I wanna finish that off, but I also feel like I should eat first, so I'll put it back. Oh, Ella, y'all know I had to get some more of these butter croissants because these are my favorite, okay? If I could make croissants easy, I would do it, but if you knew what it takes to make croissants, You'd literally be like, nah, I just buy them. <laughs> Which is what I did. Oh, and since we talked about Trader Joe's, we have to take a, talk about my favorite trail mix. I get it from Trader Joe's. It looks like it has like the almonds. It has almonds, M&Ms, peanuts, raisins. I don't even like raisins, but this combination is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna make some coffee, I guess. I'm kind of hungry. Should I eat? Like, should I cook something? Maybe like some eggs. So I got something from Mac first and foremost because I was like, let's go in Mac and re up on like um, my waterproof foundation. And this is the foundation I'm referring to, right? Because so I was like, this will be so great for vacation. So I was like, let me just re up on that come to find out discontinuing it and so the girl was like let me recommend another one i'm like okay well whatever girl because i could have just not got anything she recommended this which is their new studio fix everywhere all over face pen crayon like anyway it's like a crayon it, it has great packaging that, for one and she was like you can use it as a concealer or as a foundation i'm gonna use it as a foundation but this is how it looks you can lock it or it could pump it's on lock mode right now but look at that applicator stunning stunning so i can't wait to give this a little try this is my shade you can see the shade from the bottle how cute and then i was gonna get another one of the pot concealers that i love this one right here that i love to use for like concealer under my brows and she was like girl don't get that get the palette and i was like i mean it is almost the same price so girl whatever and then it has the actual concealer that i need in here and like more <laughs> so look this is the one that i got so i'm excited to try this out I, i already knew about these like a while back but i was just like there's no need for me to get that i have my little pot i don't need nothing but since the pot's run now need it period and so i also went to sephora i had to pick up some stuff from sephora you guys because i just had to I just had to so anyway I was like you know what it's time for me to get some stuff from Sephora so I picked up this Jisoo um lip gloss I saw someone use this and it just looked cool this is the packaging and it's actually a lip oil not a lip gloss so I was like a lip oil sounds hydrating and I can't wait to use it like I've used it a few times I don't know how I feel about it yet so I'm gonna have to keep you updated yeah this is how it looks on the lips this ain't cheap though i think this shit was like 30 dollars 30 so it better have some benefits in here i also got my birthday gift and i decided to go with the glow recipe birthday gift and it came with the dew drops and the toner so i'm actually gonna take this on vacay of course this is what they look like 
this is the toner these are the drops it still comes with a pump even though it's in a mini size can't wait to use these on vacation i just feel like it's gonna be so nice Doo -doo. happy birthday to me um i also picked up another bronzer because i was on live one day and y'all was like brand it, it's time to make a list and i was like well dang y'all really have to come yeah but it's cool so um yeah this is my bronzer that i'm normally use that i normally use as you can see i hit pan already and this is literally the only bronzer that i use i do have the fenty but i will say like this doesn't really give what it needs to give for me it doesn't really give the color and so when i saw this nars well i didn't see it i asked the guy he was like yes girl let's let me show you let me point you to the best bronzer i've always heard about the laguna bronzer but i never thought they had it in a darker shade and they do they even have one darker than this and i was gonna get that one and he and the guy was like girl you do not need that dark ass, dark ass bronzer and you know i just be i don't know i'm glad i i'm glad i didn't because first of all the packaging is super cute look at that holographicness and yeah i love red undertones on me i have a red undertone so that's what the guy said and I just feel like red undertoned bronzers are perfect for me. The bronzer that I normally use has a red undertone. So I'm, I'm actually excited to use this. I got another gloss and this one has like a little tint to it. And I feel like I have some glosses from this brand. But this one is like a brown tint. They say that this one is completely natural. No harm ingredients in it. So I was like, why not? I did have new gloss on my list. So there's that. And then I also needed a mascara because my mascaras are all dried out. And someone told me that the Fenty one was amazing. So I was like, you know what? Let's go with Fenty. Why not? This is the packaging, which looks bomb as fuck. Like, look at it. She better come through. And honestly, I did put a little bit on. And I was like, okay, voluminizing mascara. So I'm excited about her. She's bang. Oh, and last but not least, from Sephora. Let me put all these back I, I still want to film another thing with these anyway i have the givenchy blush and i just wanted a new powder brush that wasn't mac and that was just really good y'all i tried this on in the store blew me away <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say this is a really good mirror up here y'all but the thing about it is it mixes two different colors or is it four different colors anyway they all mix <laughs> And it comes with a little puff here, which I probably won't use for blush. But as you can see, these are the different colors that it come with. Nice. Oh, it looks so good on the skin. I can't wait to use these and try it for you guys because it is so good. Moving on. We got a few things from Zara. I went in Zara and I was just like, let me go to the sale rack, see if I see sale things. Because I spent so much money at Akira. We're going to talk about that because that's where I got my birthday stuff and all that good stuff. But from Zara, I found two items from the sale and I found this super cute skirt, denim skirt, and it fit perfectly and it was only, what, $12.99, $12.99. Your girl got a sale, your girl got a sale, a deal, and I might wear this on my trip to Cabo. I might find a little situation to wear that with. Also, I just decided to get this. This was like $8. It's just this like black, sheer skirt it's a midi skirt quite long it, it y'all it's so fitted it has a zipper in the back it's so fitted like it's super it's super tight i might end up giving this to ashley everett because i feel like it would just like fit her really really good on the trip i'm gonna take it on the trip but i might end up giving it to her because i just had to buy it because it was cute but that thing kind of tight for me and i ain't trying to have a coochie hurt in. okay don't pay me jingling ching ching i'm sorry is it i'm i'm so excited about beyonce last but not least you guys akira oh i'm gagging because when i went in there i was not well I, first of all i wasn't expecting to find my birthday dress but once i got in there i was like yeah i'm about to find it and then i left some shoes that i told a girl to hold in the bag if you don't know i am going to see beyonce twice one with a brand and one on my birthday so, first of all, I got this top. This top was $50, so I might return it, even though it's amazing. The girl was trying to take it right off of me. Um, and the reason I might take it back is because I didn't even know it had a little hole in it. Like, you can't really tell. 
But it got a little hole in it. And I'm like, baby, for $50, you better not have no damn holes. And you better not get no holes either. But look at this, y'all. This is just yelling, screaming renaissance, baby. To the feminine of what? I like it. I like it. So with this top, I need to go ahead and hang that top up because it cannot snag. It can't touch anything. Anything. Until I ended up getting these metallic pink pants as well, y'all. It eats, okay? I'm just saying. It's so freaking cute. Look at this. These were, how much were these? Ooh, they were 80. Let me tell y'all how we're justifying the price of this stuff, okay? I was going to get one dress. There was this one dress I was going to buy for my birthday because I wanted, you know, that dress. And it was like almost $400. With taxes, it would have been $400. And I spent $400 on all of this stuff. So that's why we're justifying it because not only did I get the birthday dress that I wanted, I also got another outfit and, and some more shit. So we have to rationalize. It's rationalizing. So yeah, no, these pants though, very good quality, obsessed. I can't wait to wear, I'm probably gonna wear this on, my, I don't know, I have another outfit choice. I actually have three, three Renaissance outfit choices straight from Akira, like all of them from Akira. This dress, stop it. You can't tell me this ain't giving Renaissance. You can't tell me, first of all, the, the the sheen the metallic the everything the everything but then the back the back is all the way out low cut ruching at the butt you don't understand you don't get it you don't really understand but it's okay it's okay you're gonna understand when i put i don't know if i should wear that though or the pink outfit on monday i know what i'm wearing on my birthday day but on Monday, when I go back to see her, I don't know if I'm going to do the dress or the outfit. Y'all let me know. I know y'all ain't seen it on me yet. But just what do you think? What do you think I should do? Should we do the dress? But I feel like we're doing a dress, so we should do the pants for the second one. You're going to have to wear it on a birthday dress. I'll figure out what I need to wear with it on my own. Anyway, I also picked up this because I was like, I need something for vacation. Like something a little different. Like I can definitely use the stuff that I have and make outfits and stuff. But I just wanted something new for vacation as well. So I found this like dress thing. This. Oh, this dress, by the way, was just 40 bucks. 45 bucks. Yep, 45 bucks. 44.90. And this one was 49 as well. So these didn't break the bank like the other things were breaking banks, okay? But when I put this on, y'all, I came out of the dressing room. Everybody was like, body, body. I was like, you know what? Y'all gonna hype me up and I'm gonna get it and I got it. And I got it because, like, you said the body was body in it. And if y'all looking like that shit, I need to pull up in the... You know what I mean? So anyway... Friend, that's what we, we we had an amazing shopping trip yesterday, okay? I actually might go on live and show my birthday dress because whoever's on the live will just see it and whoever's not on the live just won't see it. So I hope you see it. Anyway, let me uh, go live and possibly do my makeup or something. I don't know. I feel like I should film some type of makeup tutorial today or something. But we're also going to the pool today. Um, me, Casey, Casey, and um, Lissa, we're doing just a pool thing, a pool gathering. We're getting together, girls day at the pool, and it should be fun. So I'm trying to get some stuff done before we head out there. And um, yeah, I told them I'll bring a fruit tray. So I need to go get a fruit tray. I think I'm gonna go with this swimsuit. I forgot where I got it from, but I literally just had to peel all the writing off of it. This won't come off, but I'm pretty sure it'll come off in a minute. And then it goes with like these undies. Wait, girl, I can't. Listen, I done tightened this up. So, yeah. And I just got these little casual pants on until I get there. It's like kind of far from me. So... I need to go ahead and head there. And I haven't gotten the fruit tray. I told them I was gonna bring a fruit tray, so I'm gonna go to the store. I'm probably gonna go on that side of town. Probably gonna drive to the area that she's in and then just go to the grocery store over there. Oh, and um, Scott pissed on the on the carpet. I don't know what's over her. I don't know if she's lashing out or what. So I put her back in her cage. 
and I haven't put her in her cage in like forever so a little annoyed by her at the moment I was in like a great mood until she just like sat there and peed and then as soon as she peed she just like moved walked away and just like sat somewhere else and I'm just like you normally let me know if you have to pee and I, j I had just let her out I don't know so anyway I have to leave but I had to put her up anyway but normally I don't put her in a crate but I had to today because she's been acting out and what you're not going to do is whatever you're doing. Okay? Bye. Anyway, so yeah, let's go. Go! Yeah. I'm playing